quarantine life treating you? It, you know, it, it is what it is. It, you know, yeah. I'm not bothered by it. I'm, I've always been one that isolates myself. So, you know, this is normal for me. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I guess, like, to, to just, like, start off everything, first and foremost, thank you so much for taking this time to do this interview with me. Not I'm cool. here with the one and only amazing crush. <laughs> Being that you're you know, giving me this time to, to interview you, I wanted to ask you a couple of questions about your career and just get your opinion about a couple of things. Mm-hmm. So you have years of experience being a graffiti artist, and then you transitioned into the art gallery world. So mm-hmm. I'm sure those two worlds were very different. Uh, and then when they collided, like you put provided a platform for a different type of graffiti artists to showcase their work. But before you got there, I just wanted to know like the beginning stages. So to start Crash, like can you give me a little bit of a background about how you started pursuing your uh, professional art career? Well, with me, it started, it started with school, basically. I graduated from high school and I really didn't have any plans of going to college. You know, it was, it was one of these things where like, my parents were very old school, like either work or go to school, nesting around. So essentially, I was sort of um, not pushed, but yeah, okay, pushed into, um, you know, what are you going to do? So that year that I graduated, 79, I was still doing the subways, but there were few of us that were always painting and drawing. And I just felt, you know, it, 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 you know something was going to happen. And then I want to say summer of 1980, I met with... Charlie Ahern mm-hmm. and Fat Five Freddy. I didn't know who Fat. I didn't, I didn't know who they were either. Of them. Yeah. And they were they were filming a movie or they were writing a movie and they wanted me to show them locations for the movie, which turned out to be Wildstone. So I met them at this place called Fashion Motor. I didn't know what that was. All I knew was the area because there used to be a sneaker store and a blood bank. Most people went to the blood bank to sell blood, you know, to buy the sneakers, you know. So it was right there, and I met them there, and, you know, we drove around and, you know, showed some spots, you know, uh, for whatever, you know, what they wanted to do. And while I was there, I met the owner of Fashion Model, who was Stefan Hines. And long story short, I didn't know Charlie was married to Jane Dixon, who's an artist, and she was doing an installation, so she wanted to know if I could help her paint some of the panels. And that's how I got into the um, the art scene. Oh, wow. Yeah. First and foremost, like, who was it that, you know, saw your work that day that kind of was inspired by what you, you, what you were producing? It's weird because Charlie had the idea of writing a story about a graffiti artist from the Bronx. And, it's, and it was very similar to my story. I had an older brother who was in Vietnam and in the movie, Lee, who played the, the main character, faced off with his older brother, who just came back from, you know, Vietnam and some things. So it was very similar to my to my story. And then it was shot in the area where I grew up at. So oh, um, yeah, so Charlie knew my work from the subways, you know. Mm. And you know, it's it's it just happened. It just happened. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing that. 